All right, guys. So this will be our first installment of a series of videos I'm going to do called Tell Us Your Best Story. And we're going to start it with Hank because Hank has encouraged me to make YouTube videos for many, many years and I've wanted to do it. So first, Hank, we're going to start our traditional campfire. All right, let's do it. This is, we know that stories were told in ancient times around campfires and they didn't have to use matches like this. So we get the candle and then I'm going to ask you, Hank, Shima, tell us your best story. All right. Now you said you had a story about Link Ray. Link Ray. So All right. Link Ray, if you guys don't know, he was a surf guitar player from the late 50s and he did instrumentals you've all heard and one of my favorite songs by the way i i may have heard this story before but i don't remember it so i'm kind of hearing this for the first time all right all right so one of my favorite songs is a song called rumble um, and in the 50s it was banned from the radio because every time the song came on people just started fighting it's an instrumental. Is that a true story? That's a true story. You can wiki, wiki it or Google it, whatever. Yes, this is a true story. So Link Ray had uh, some lung injury. I'm not sure the order of operations that happened, but he stopped performing, you know, in the late 50s, early 60s, I guess, or sometime. But uh, so he's just kind of a legend. All right, all of a sudden we catch wind. Link Ray is coming to Houston to play a show at the Satellite. I, I got goosebumps just now thinking about square. Like <laughs> what year? Yeah, this what? was this was late nineties, okay. and so the Southern Backtones, my band, has a show the same night at Fitzgerald's. Mm. So we play our show and we run to the Satellite Lounge, Mike Foster and I, and we get there and Link Ray's just started. So we didn't miss anything. But the Satellite Lounge, it's midnight. The Satellite Lounge is packed with people all the way to the back. They look angry they're hot they've been there a long time waiting like he started late for some reason okay. and it just wasn't a happy atmosphere that had been created and so i'm thinking i look up at the front of the stage at the very front way up there i see my girlfriend you know i'm way in the back you knew she would be there yeah she was there she wasn't yeah she said screw your van i'm going to see link <laughs> yeah so so this wasn't the first week you guys were dating. No, You've been no, dating no, no, a little no, while. Yeah. You, you got to the point where yeah. they no longer care about your shows. Right, right. Actually, that happened very fast. But uh, anyway, uh, so Link Ray starts his first song, and I, I'm still coming off of my Fitzgerald's performance, Southern Backtones and Endorphins, right? I, I've got, I'm wearing Elvis sunglasses. I've got a satin Western shirt on. I'm yeah, still, cool, I'm in yeah. punk rock mode, you know? Yeah. You know, and, and, uh, and Link Ray starts, and I just start, bulldozing through everybody I'm that asshole to the front of the stage yeah and then I get to the front of the stage to my girl and I'm like here we are Link Ray's playing so I'm that asshole so to the right of me there's a guy and I'm, I'm digging into my cortex the best that I can to replay what I remember and there's this guy and, and he's the biggest guy he's huge he's definitely the biggest guy in the room we're talking not just bigger than you and I. You and I are both, you know, over six feet. But this guy's like Dallas right Cowboy. That, I happen to be right. Dallas Cowboy lineman, big, and he was a white boy. He's a redneck, and and so I would say six six, three hundred fifty pounds of of He's muscle. Big old boy. Big old boy. So he grabs me by the shoulder, and pulls me back and says, "This." So the, you know where we're. we're you know, get back and uh, the universal sign of universe like, and he does it. It's not like please. It's like you better get your ass back where you came. He saw you bulldozing, man. Yeah, he saw me. So uh, and of course, I've got Elvis sunglasses on at night, so I'm an easy target. What would your hair look like? Uh, it's like this. Yeah. So um, so uh, I my first card to play is I'm gonna play the nice the nice guy card. Sure. And so I go, man. I start going. Ah, I'm trying to talk to him, and he he's not having any of it. He and he just, you know, and so then I think, you know what, I'm gonna, what would Mike Foster do? Mike Foster would, would and, and, you know, just buff up and throw out some and, and intimidate people. And so I thought, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw that card at him. So I, I How get How old are you at the time? I don't know, I don't know. 20s? Yeah, 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 yeah. 20s, early 20s. So, so I, I throw that card out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, uh, try to scare this guy off. So the next thing I know, my, I feel the blood go, <laughs> <laughs> Help my nose. You know, he pops me in the nose. You did? You really don't remember the punch coming? No, no. Just It was just... And it was your girlfriend. No, no. It was the big cowboy dude. So, yeah. so, so I jump up like this, and, and he's hitting me, 
and and the uh, the the crowd <laughs> opens up into a pit, right? But it's a jam. Please tell me, Link Ray comes out and starts the song. <laughs> he's already playing. playing. He's already playing. Oh, he's he's playing. Already playing. He's playing while all this is going on. So it opens up into a pit, but it's a tight pit where we're really close. And and you know when you're in a fight, you know everything's in slow motion, and you think. You know, you know, a million miles per hour. You know. By the way, let me tell you something I've learned. I'm sorry to just yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Show, but most people don't know what a fight feels like. Sure, they do. I found this out in life when I started asking people. I mean, you can go back to the fifth grade. Or the most fifth. people. Not okay. Okay. Fight at all. When you're in a fight, everything is in slow motion. You don't feel pain, and uh, that much until something bad happens. That was foreshadowing. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and so, but you're thinking really like different than you normally would. And so my thought was, do not hit this guy. Like he wasn't, I knew he wasn't really committing to destroying me. He was kind of, he was going through it, but he, he, he wasn't. He still had a little life. Reserve. Left. Was yeah. A little light left yeah. And so I'm thinking to myself, don't hit this guy because that's going to give him, that's another thing. If you're in a fight, once somebody hits you, it's almost like, thank you. Now I can unleash. And so, uh, I was thinking, don't hit this guy, or he's going to mm. destroy you. So I'm thinking, just duck and tuck, duck and tuck until you know some. I don't know. That's all I'm thinking at the time. Crash! Here comes the first beer bottle. Crashes over my head, and I'm thinking, you know, in the movies, everybody goes down when you get hit by a beer bottle. It doesn't hurt at all. Like if the bottle crashes over your head, and I was thinking that movies are bullshit. That does not hurt at all. Mm. The second bottle hits me. This You're one hit by people, random people. The second bottle come from. He's hitting me from behind. The second bottle hits me from behind. This one catches me right here. See the scar? Still got the scar. Yeah. This one is full of beer and doesn't break. Those are the ones that hurt. If they crack, you're good unless it cuts you. That one hurt, and I can feel the blood. And I'm thinking, okay, this guy. I didn't know the first story was gonna be so violent. Yeah, right? it's, it's it's it gets yeah it gets awesome. So. So Please tell me I'm thing. thinking this guy has got friends. They're, I'm, now I'm thinking I'm, I'm just going to die, and I'm just doing this, and I'm trying to move, and I and I look up, and, and then another bottle crashes over my head. Okay, and that one didn't hurt; it was so too broken. So, and then I, I come up to try to get my bearings, and I see him getting pulled back out of the crowd by my friend Mike Reed, and which Mike Reed is our size; he's not a big guy, but. He's big, but compared to this guy, he's mm -hmm. not. And I'm thinking, how the hell did Mike Reed get that guy? And I'm thinking, okay, obviously he saw all the blood. He saw how bad I was beat up. He probably thought I better get out of here before I'm going to jail. You know, so, so I leave it at that. So now I'm looking around, and I'm looking for the guy that was busting the bottles over my head. And I'm looking at everybody's faces, and it's all these like women and people. They're all scared. They're all looking at me like, oh, my God. And I'm looking for that one dude, and I'm looking look and I don't see him and 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 my girlfriend's like are you okay and I go I'm, I go somebody was busting bottles over my head she goes I'm so sorry I was trying to hit him no way yeah and I know that sounds far-fetched but there's a lot of people I'm gonna mention this video that can verify all this then Mike Foster walks up the bass player of the Sun and back tones and he goes you look so cool <laughs> and and I and I'm kind of and then he goes did you hear did you hear and I go what Link Ray stopped the song he was playing, and he ruined it earlier, and he went into Rumble, and I missed it. No way. I missed it. So he played, if you guys know, Rumble is, uh, it's on every movie when a badass walks into the bar, so it's. That's it. So Leek Ray, back then, it says that wow. he took pencils and he put punctured holes in his amplifier to get the first distortion. That's what one of the things that made that song mm. uh, so good. So, fast forward, I've always wondered, how did Mike Reed get that guy out of the bar? First, can we just pause and yeah. reflect back that yeah. Link Ray stopped the song he was playing. And played Rumble. And played Rumble while, while you're done getting my ass kicked. Yeah. Was being an amateur yeah. in the audience, but yeah. still, yeah, you got you, you got the Link Ray um, track. What is it in the movie? The soundtrack. You got the Link Ray soundtrack to your fight, yeah. played by Link Ray, while your girlfriend is 
So she had three beers. In she, her hand? They were all line. People set their beers on the stage, oh. and she just started grabbing and them. She was trying to hit the and, guy. And she and, and to this and she argued. She goes, "I only hit you with two, and I know you hit me with three. She goes, "No, somebody else did. No, every bottle that flew came from your hand." So, uh, mm-hmm. so late. I always wondered how did Mike Reed? Yeah, that's but Mike Reed disappeared. So I run into Mike, uh, and I, about fifteen years later, you know, just recently, and I said, "Mike, do you remember?" And he's like, "Of course I remember." And I said, "How did you get that guy out?" And he goes, "Man, I came to help you out. He went back to hit you, and he goes, I didn't know what to do, so I just grabbed his hand, <laughs> and he goes, and I grabbed it and twisted his wrist and caught him in a weird pressure point, and accidentally." accidentally and just walked him out the door <laughs> like that. And he said for, for months, the satellite was just calling him and asking him to be a bouncer, a security guard at the bar. So yeah, yeah that's pretty good. Every detail that is not exaggerated, that all went down just like that. And I guess the moral of the story is don't be a jerk. Don't be a jerk. If you're gonna miss your favorite song. Just go in and watch the show. Yeah. Good story. Thanks for telling us your best story, Hank. Yeah, man. Appreciate it, man. All right, guys, see you in the next one.